So the episode opened with Eric putting the code on game, letting you know that Desmos plans on saving you. He plans on coming, getting you away from Xander, rescuing you. You are to fall in his arm and want to fall in love with him all over again. Nicole, think about it for two seconds and say, oh shit, you right. He is trying to manipulate me. He do want me to fall in love with him. Oh shit, what did I do? Well, maybe you would at least help the man take out some of the guards. Maybe you could have been out there before Big Head got there. But since you want to sit back in and now you got to wait till there's most big head ass come. So you have fun with that, Nicole, even though you is going to get away. Spoiler alert. Good luck with that. Um, John, don't make promises you can't keep. You know when the I say call, you know you get up and go like crazy. Don't play that game, John. Talking about some you here, you ain't going nowhere. I bet you the ISA call your ass. I bet you you'll run your ass out that house with a room sad and all. You don't got no choice. Don't keep no more. No, no, mm -mm. You better hush your mouth for the ISA call you to making no promises you know you can't keep. What's wrong with you, um, John? Y'all really finna make me sit here and watch JJ call himself trying to interrogate somebody and Lonnie. I just want to bust out laughing, but I'm trying to keep my damn cup. Y'all really finna make me sit here and watch this shit. Really? JJ and Lonnie up here talking about playing it, playing um, interrogation. I guess. Pardon me if I happen to bust out laughing sooner or later because this, this is ridiculous. I. I I would never take JJ serious as a cop. I am sorry. I will never. Mm -mm. And now, this is funny to me watching him call this up trying to interrogate somebody like he scanned somebody. But okay, let's play along with this silly game. Desmos, where the fuck did you find this goofball at? He supposed to be one of your paying um, clients, right? A lot of intimidation and a lot of fake callers of some people that scared him out. Okay, okay, I talk, I talk. Okay, okay, I talk. I really? There's ones you really got to use your money to actually hire somebody that won't talk. I done seen people literally on the brink of damn death and they still went open their damn mouth. You really need to start paying these fuckers even more money or hire people that are written to risk their damn lives not to talk. Because y'all is ridiculous when they come to these little, with these little people y'all call y'all stuff behind. And all these people y'all like to hire for a quick job. That if a little twisting of the arm or a little scared, they are talking same like a goddamn canary. Y'all really need to learn how to use y'all money a little bit more better than this. Cause this shouldn't be this goddamn easy. It shouldn't be that damn easy for this man to all of a sudden talk about God. She picked up the phone but till like she was really Well, we already know Dead Smoke ain't shit. Do we expect less out of him? I don't. Do y'all? So of course he hired the cheapest thing around. Cause he didn't want to spend that much money. Y'all gonna learn to spend more money next time, won't you? Um, Sonny, I like this little dark side of you, but I'm going to need you to take it down a couple of notches. Buddy, if push came to show up, you'll get ran over. Sonny, sit your little ass down now. Enough is the goddamn enough with you now, Superman. It's time to sit your little tiny ass down somewhere, because you know you can't fight. What the hell are you going to do with that gun? Ask it to shoot somebody and get your ass arrested. So, son, I'm going to need for you to lead, lead this up to the profession now. Sit your little rich ass down somewhere. Because you need to go get learn you some fighting lessons. You plan on going in this kind of work next time. So, son, sit your little tiny ass down somewhere. Nicole, I don't know why you so surprised and shocked about this. And now you figuring it out. You didn't realize he was obsessed with you. Anybody that I follow you to Canada tell you they still love you and they want to help you. You don't think the obsessed ass will take you to a Greek island, call the paper and team for rescuing you, and then try to make you fall in love with you? You don't think they'll scoop that damn far? And they left Salem to come to Canada to profess they love to you, even though you weren't giving him no bites. He still did this. So you don't think he'll do this much? To try to win you back. You don't see the obsessed in his head. 
Now, how you miss the OC in his head or OCD in his head, Nicole, I'll let you figure that one. But, honey, you should have been known he was upset. I don't know why you didn't catch on. I guess it take you a while to realize somebody really obsessed with you, huh, Mariah Carey? Okay. Nicole, if you blame one more goddamn person for you dating that devil and ain't nothing about to marry that goddamn devil, I'm going to slap the piss out of you. I don't up to your shit. You married that big head bastard cause he was the first man off the dingy die that gave you an opportunity. You ran with it. Cause I looked at the money more than you looked at his big head ass. Why would you not? Cause you got that training you would have. I'ma leave your past alone. Whatever made you fall in love with that fucker, it was on your means and your opportunity. Yeah, you might have been love struck and over dang and still, but honey, even nobody in the rush distress won't pick no devil like that to talk about big friend they forever with. Your ass still lost your goddamn mind when you dated the ass moment. Don't blame that shit on nobody. Blame your own tired ass. About time you do something right, Nicole. About damn time. It only took you for the devil to come reappear in your face for you to decide to get up and do get off your ass and finally do something. Besides looking crazy and making faces in the corner. Paul. Y'all learn to look behind you, buddy. Look behind you, stay vigilant. Now you didn't got bust up try to him. Now Sonny wanna come rescue you cause you're not answering the phone. Yeah, I knew this plan wasn't gonna work so good as y'all thought it was. Y'all ain't gonna catch Desmos that easy. He ain't gonna make it that easy for y'all. He might be a dumbass criminal, but he don't make shit that damn easy for y'all to catch him and him fall into a trap. Not that ain't nothing no. Oh, no, don't tell me Brady fit to die. Now, I was hoping it. Y'all really fit to kill. The... I hope this a big old ass joke and not with just a stun. I really hope y'all ain't fit to kill Brady off like that. Come on now. Days, if y'all do that, I'm done with y'all. I really am. Because I actually look at the show for Brady. And if y'all didn't got rid of my favorite dumb ass. <laughs> I might be done with days. I hope y'all didn't make that mistake. This dumbass walked right into a goddamn... <laughs> Damn, Nicole, you must have put a workout on his ass. Now, you should have known better when you walked your silly ass in the dark house. A dark damn house, really damn smoke, and you walked right on in. Your love for Nicole... Uh <laughs> Your love for Nicole um interfered with your dumb ass medium, meaning your libido, meaning you didn't think twice. Most people went and went in that damn house when they seen the damn lights off. They would say, uh uh, no, fuck Nicole. These lights off, all I know this is set up. Let me turn my ass around and at least call a guard to come in with me or something. Nah, you just walk your happy ass in there, huh? See your best mate up there in the goddamn cave. And then all of a sudden, Nicole and Eric come out there and you. Yeah, buddy, they didn't switch the game up on your ass. New stupid plan, please. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode. I'm going to get the like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.